Hi guys and welcome to the Arcane Mage Guide for 7.35. So in this guide I'll be going through the AoE and the single target um, legendaries and talents in the rotation. So for um, Arcane, the main legendary you want to have overall is the headpiece. Due to the fact that Evocation grants one additional charge, which is obviously the main way you get mana. Returns 100% of your total mana. And obviously, if you know Arcane Mages, you know that the, the only thing that limits their damage is their mana. So, due to the fact you're having two Evocates, you're, it just increases your damage overall by so, so much. You just want to have the head. And then the next Legendary, which is what kind of what I like about um, Arcane, you can literally use any ones you want. So, the, the, the um, legs are really good because it gives you more mana, so you can spend more DPS later on down the line. The, the uh, ring, haste ring is really good if you BL on pull, so you can get more than one blood dust. Just helps you later on down the line. Soul of the Archmage is also really, really good because of the talent it gives you. So it gives you temporal flux, which is obviously arcane blast cast time is reduced by 5% for each arcane charge. So obviously when you have four, um, four charges, you're going to be doing so, so much damage with the extra haste. And yeah, so the main legendaries for single target is the head, the legs... The Soul of the um, Exodar and Soul of the Archmage. So, the way the talents you want to be using are Amplification, due to the fact um, you always want to be using your Arcane Missiles anyway you, when you're at 4 Arcane Power. And this this um, this spell just helps you with that. So, Arcane Missile deals an additional 12% per Arcane Charge. Obviously, you should always be using it with 4 Arcane Charges. So that's an increase of 48% damage of your arcane missiles, which is just crazy. Because your arcane missiles hit pretty hard anyway. So yeah. Next, what you want to take is Shimmer. Obviously, because if a, if a spell comes in on a boss, you can just arcane blast and Shimmer away and it still hits. But yeah, as you can see, you just want to hold up your arcane missiles. As you can see, now I've got all my power. So I can just use my arcane missiles with all that arcane power. And as you can see, I'm just doing really big DPS. So that's what you want to do. You don't want to be using all your arcane missiles as possible. You want to be saving three charges of them. And when you, when you hit four arcane power, you want to be using all of them. So they hit really, really hard. But the next talent, you want to be taking Rune of Power. This is really, really good for um, arcane. Especially if you want to pop your cooldowns. Your cooldown is arcane power. Rune of Power ties in really nicely with that. And you can get a Rune of Power always down when you get your arcane power. Which is when you're going to do your most damage. So you can see 6% more spell damage and 60% less mana which is really really good for arcane because that's literally their um their only issue next what you want to take is resonance arcane barrage deals 25 percent increased damage per target hit this is good due to the fact that although it's per target hit it still hits 25 percent more when it hits one target which is just way way better than charged up in supernova you get way more ch um damage with resonance up next one's down to you again but i like taking chrono shift due to the fact that when I'm doing AoE, I'm spamming Arcane Explosion and or Arcane Barrage, and their their slow is just reduced. Next, what you want to take is Erosion, because you're always going to be, even if it's single target or um, AoE, the target's always going to be getting hit, so Erosion will always be up, so you want to keep up Erosion. And for your last talent, you want to take Overpowered. Arcane Power now increases damage by 6% and reduces mana cost by 60%. You know, you don't have to read into it too much, it's just increased damage all around. So what you want to start off with, you want to start off with Rune of Power, and then use Presence of Mind, so you can get your um, Arcane Power up fully. Now you see I'm at 4 Arcane Charges, now I'm going to use my Arcane Missiles, and then I'm going to use Arcane Barrage. Now I'm just going to get up my um, Arcane Charges again, try and get some Missiles, as soon as I hit 4, I'm going to use my Missiles, and then use my Barrage. Then I'm just going to quickly use Arcane Power, just because it's up, and you want to be using it as soon as it's up. So now you can see I'm at 4 charges, going to use all my arcane missiles because they hit really hard. Then barrage. So that's basically the gist of it. You also want to be using Mark of Alunath on, um, on cooldown. So as you can see now, I'm at 4 charges. Put down my rune of power, then use all of my arcane missiles so they hit really, really hard. And make sure... Oh, presence of mind's back up. Going to quickly use that. Use another barrage. But as you can see, erosion just gets really, really high stacks because you're just going to non-stop be hitting the target. But yeah, so you just want to make sure the main change is that you're always using your arcane missiles at four arcane charges, and you're always using barrage when you hit four um, arcane power all the time. So yeah, 
And obviously with the helmet, you did see there, but when you're in a full fight, you're going to be using the evocation a lot more, and the two charges of it just really, really help. For AoE, what you want to take now is um, you want to be taking Arcane Familiar. You want to do this because you're going to be literally spamming Arcane Explosions over and over. And the more mana you have, the more you can the more you can use. So for um, what you want to be doing for um, Legendaries wise, you want to be using the shoulders all the time. Arcane Barrage has a 10% chance per Arcane Charge consumed to launch an Arcane Orb in front of you. Obviously, because you're always going to be using Barrage with four... Um, with four arcane charges, it's forty percent every single barrage, which is just crazy, crazy good. And especially when you use an arcane explosion, if you see, it generates one charge if if any targets are hit. So you know you're going to be generating a lot, a lot, a lot of um, a lot of uh, damage. And obviously the helm's really good, especially if you take slipstream. If there's a lot of targets, you're just going to be spamming arcane explosion. And then when you're low mana, you can li literally use Evocate while moving. And you can just deal really big damage. And you can also do your um, your Rune of Power by moving. Next, what you want to be taking is your um, Encanter's Flow. You want to be taking this due to the fact that uh, Rune of Power is not that useful. Especially in AoE fights, you're going to be moving around a lot. So you just want to use Encanter so it's always up and you're just doing always big damage. Next one you take is obviously Resonance, Arcane Barrage, deal 25% increased damage per target hit. That's going to deal really big damage at 4 charges when you've got it. So yeah, use that. Then Chrono Shift again, obviously, it's always good. Next I use Erosion, because it says your attacks erode the target. But because I'm literally going to, my rotation is literally going to be Arcane Explosion, Arcane Explosion, Arcane Barrage, all the targets are going to be eroded. So they're going to get really, really big damage. So literally, that, this is all you want to do. And obviously, when you take Slipstream, you can cast Arcane Missiles while moving. So you literally just want to be spamming your um, Arcane Explosions and then using your Missiles. So you can see you're going to get really, really big damage. And then when you're low mana, you just want to be using your Evocates. And yeah, that's basically it for the Arcane Mage. It's really, really fun, especially when you have Slipstream up, because you can just be casting and moving and just exploding stuff all over the place. Anyway, that's it for the Arcane Guide. It's pretty fun spec. The only limitations is the mana, but if you have the helm, you'll be you'll be you'll be fine. But yeah, like and subscribe if you like the video and comment if I missed anything out or if you have any suggestions for me. I read all the comments and reply to them. So yeah, see you in the next one.